Kia ora, internet. I've been having loads of fun making these quick and scrappy quilts for the Qtopia charity. So I'm going to make another one. <laughs> so I had a, a look in my stash and remembered I had this, which is the remains of two jelly rolls that I used in a couple of other projects. And I don't actually know how many strips are left. Most of the strips are only partial strips. So I don't know if it's enough to make a jelly roll race, but I'm going to try anyway. And if it turns out too small, I'll just stick some borders on it. Ooh, it's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> So just like any jelly roll race, the first step is to sew all the strips end to end. I'm just pulling out the strips randomly from the pile, I'm not worrying about which colours go together because you can't really control where they'll end up in the finished quilt anyway. Okay, all the strips are sewn into one long strip and that pile looks about the size I'd expect for a jelly roll race. So I think this might just work. Alright, you know the drill from here. You take the two ends, you sew them side by side to make a wider strip. Cut along the fold. as many times as it takes to get something about the right shape for a quilt top. And there's the finished top. It's a bit closer to square than a normal jelly roll race, so I must have had more than a jelly roll's worth of fabric in my scraps. So it's a good size, so I don't need to add borders. Because it's so bright and busy, I'm going to keep the quilting pretty simple. I also want to practice quilting on a bit of a larger scale. I have a tendency to make my quilting really dense, which looks great on a wall hanging, but doesn't really make for a cosy quilt. So I'm quilting nice big ribbon candy across pairs of strips. For the binding, I found this piece in my stash, which is perfect. And I think I've got just enough to bind the whole quilt with it. I think that looks great. I love how the different lengths make it even more random and interesting than a normal jelly roll race. And the way the really short pieces are kind of sprinkled across the quilt. Keeping with the scrappy theme, I used a piece backing with a mixture of bright and grey pieces left over from other projects and just put together however the pieces would fit. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that scrappy variation on a jelly roll race. It might inspire you to use up some of those leftover bits of jelly roll you've got lying around. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Kakite anō, internet.